Hey, do you want to know how not to lose all your Bitcoin on BitMEX? Then watch this beginner's tutorial and we will show you how to use the platform in a responsible way. Hi, I am Adrian, I'm with Bitcoin for Beginners and in this tutorial, on the request of many of our community members, we will show you how to use BitMEX. This is of course not financial advice and please read our disclaimer. Also, please subscribe to our channel if you find this information useful, like this video and click the notification bell for more of our updates. All right, so let's get started. How to get started? with bitmax in five steps that's the first thing we're going to talk about then we're going to see what bitmax is and 16 things you need to know when you are using the platform we will be exploring the platform we will do some live order examples and we will teach you some things to keep in mind so how to get started it's just five steps first of all if you don't know trading yet you need to educate yourself first learn proper trading learn technical analysis, risk and money management, trader psychology and discipline, strategies, and you can start your learning journey at one of our resource pages that we will link in the description below. And then it is important that you study the references and contract sections on BitMEX itself. After that, you should watch this tutorial again and then sign up for testnet first so you can do some simulated trading the link for the testnet platform is linked in the description as well on the testnet you can figure out how everything works on the platform experience some of the contracts order types try everything out before you will risk some real bitcoin and only then if that all went successful, you can try to sign up for a real BitMEX account when you are really comfortable and confident about your own trading abilities and you understand the platform well enough. So what are the things that you need to know? First of all, BitMEX is a Bitcoin derivatives trading platform, which means you can buy and sell Bitcoin futures contracts, but it's not a spot exchange, which means you cannot trade in other alts or against fiat currency. There is no price discovery on BitMEX because the contracts only represent the value of the altcoins or fiat. You can only deposit and withdraw Bitcoin. Contracts and fees and profit and losses are paid in Bitcoin as well. You can do up to 100 times leverage. This is of course highly speculative. You should not use this to do gambling. You should only use it for responsible trading or if you want to hedge your Bitcoin positions. You should also know that US citizens are not allowed. You can sign up with a VPN, some have achieved in doing this, but if you get caught, your positions will be closed and your account terminated. And yes, this does happen. XBT is the ticker symbol for Bitcoin on BitMEX instead of BTC, which is usual on other exchanges. The price index is used to track the price, and this is for Bitcoin. 50% Bitstamp and 50% Coinbase. And this is the basis to measure and calculate different values related to the derivative contracts, such as settlement of expired contracts and calculation of the mark price, which triggers liquidation. If you use long buy, this is speculating for the price to go up. And if you short sell, then you are speculating for the price to go down. BitMEX has two main types of derivative contracts, and those are the perpetual contracts and the futures contracts. The perpetual contract does not expire and does not settle. It tracks the price of the Bitcoin price index very closely because of its funding mechanism. Every eight hours, a funding rate is charged or receives. And it depends if you need to pay when you're long or short, and you can check that in the contract details. The maximum is 100x leverage for Bitcoin and 50x for Ethereum and there is no perpetual contract for the other altcoins, at least not at time of recording. The futures contracts do have an expiry date and they do settle quarterly. There is no funding rate, but you may trade at a small premium or discount related to the price index. Also, there is a difference between the maker and taker fee. If you post a limit order, you will get a rebate. But if you post a market order, for example, a market stop order, you will need to pay a fee. 
So if the situation for your trading allows it, preferably you should try to manually open and close positions with a post only limit order because the less fees you pay, the easier it will be to become profitable. Also, there is a difference between cross margin and isolated margin. Default for orders is cross margin and this calculates the liquidation price over the entire available balance. The advantage is that you can take a larger position size. The disadvantage is that when you are liquidated, the entire account balance is lost. Isolated margin is applicable if you adjust the leverage to a desired value. This makes the available margin smaller. Also, the distance between entry price and liquidation becomes smaller. When you are liquidated, you only lose the reserved isolated margin. Deposits are credited after one block confirmation already and BitMEX processes all withdrawals only once per day. This is good to know when you want to withdraw your Bitcoin. Okay, let's see how trading goes. First, we will check out the demo platform and after that we will go to see the real platform. Notice that accounts on both platforms are separated, so you will need to register an account on both the testnet and after that on the real account. But let's start with the real account first. Go to testnet.bitmax.com, click register and you can register your account. And you will get the same interface as the normal BitMEX platform. You can adjust however you want it. For example, I can click away the depth chart here and then extend the chart. Then in the top right corner, when I click on my account name, you will see a short uh, menu where you can select how you want to display your balance. It can be done in Bitcoin or even in Satoshi. I will click Satoshi because it looks as if I'm rich. And if you open an account on BitMEX, you will be credited some small amount of Bitcoin um, automatically to use to start trading. However, you should never send real Bitcoin to this account because it will be lost. Only fake Bitcoin on the BitMEX testnet. Okay, so here in the top, you see the uh, most important sections. The trade section is what we are in now. And as I said before, the contract section and the references section are the ones that you should study very carefully before you really start trading. So you understand everything perfectly. All right. So as I said, you can make trades like you would do on a normal platform. For example, you can buy or sell uh, $1 worth of Bitcoin. I will do that. I will do a buy market. And as you can see, my order is already executed and the position is displayed here in the bottom. Now, do I want to close it? OK, I will close it by selling it again at market. I will see all information. I can just sell order field and it's done just as easy as that. And you can try out all the different types of contracts and orders until you are comfortable enough in using the platform. All right, so here under the different sections, you can see the different coins that are available on the platform. And under that, you will see the types of contracts per coin. For example, in Bitcoin, you have the perpetual, which is shown here. The up and down contracts are low volume contracts, and we will not discuss them in this video. December, March and June reflects the future contracts. And if you want to know more details about each type of contract, you will find it in the left bottom corner. You see contract details. You will see the latest price here. You will also see the index price and the mark price. Other details like volume and especially expiry date for future in December is in seven days. For March is in three months. You will also see the difference if I would take a perpetual contract because there is no expiry date, but they will use a funding rate already in 48 minutes. There will be funding. And in this case, because it's a negative number, that means shorts pay longs. And if it's positive, then longs pay shorts. Same thing, for example, Ethereum. Here is the Ethereum perpetual. You can choose the December future contract as well. OK, now let's take a look at the real platform.
Okay, so once you have registered your account, first of all, I would highly recommend to go to my account. You can access it here at account or under your account may in the top right corner. And if you click account and security, you can also set your two factor authentication. Please do that for extra account security. And the second thing that we can do is deposit some coins. So you go to wallet, deposit, and you will get a QR code that you can scan with your mobile phone wallet, or you can copy paste the address in your Bitcoin wallet. As I already said, when you send your Bitcoin, it will be credited to your account after already one block confirmation. So imagine I want to place an order for the perpetual, then I can go, for example, place a limit order, the quantity, I will fill in 100. So I will buy $100 worth of the contract. I will click post only because I do not want it to execute immediately. And then I will take the price 3950. So I will be sure it will land in the order book here. I can choose to keep it on cross margin or adjust the leverage. And then you will see how it will change the estimated liquidation price. For example, if I take 50 X or 25 X, you will see the difference changes. We'll just use cross at this point of time. And then I will just buy order is submitted. You can see it here in active order. And at active order, I can cancel the order or I can change the price of the order. But I can also do that by moving in the chart itself. I can just move the price when I click the box and it will automatically amend my limit order. And my order failed. And that means I can see it here at positions. You will see the value in Bitcoin. You will see my entry price and the mark price, the liquidation price, the margin that is being used, my unrealized profit. And this is calculated by looking at my entry price and the mark price. And the realized profit and loss will show you, for example, when the funding rate is charged or credited, it will appear here. You can also choose to set a stop loss, for example, a stop market order, just click in the order field stop market and then choose your stop price. For example, 39.50. I can only click set sell stop sell and there you have it. Stop loss is always reduce only, which means if it gets hit, it will only reduce your position and will never increase your position. Now, if you want to set a limit order to take profit, for example, you can do that by making a sell order. And I will set a reduce only as well. Sell. My order is submitted. Let's see if it's going to get hit. And my order failed. Uh, let me see. Fills. I can see my failed orders. Here you see my buy 100 and sell 100. The difference was like 21 points. My realized profit was 14,453 satoshis on this order and because everything was done with a limit price i did not have to pay any fees and then i can also cancel my stop loss order here cancel all right so that's how it basically works also if you want to do some calculations here in the top left corner you will find a small calculator where you can do some calculations for example, profit loss target price and calculations about the liquidation price. And then if you want to withdraw your Satoshis, you just go to withdraw. You can fill in here their destination address, the amount. They don't charge fees, only the network fee. And once you submit it once a day, the withdrawals will be processed. All right. So last but not least, please keep this in mind. You should always have a stop loss set at all times because frequently error messages will occur and they won't process your orders, especially at times of high volatility when there is much activity on the platform. If you don't have any order in place, you have a high risk of losing more than you were intended just because you couldn't get your order through. 
Also, liquidation is not triggered by the actual index price, but by the mark price. After triggering the liquidation price, different actions may occur on your account or with your position. It can be cancelling of orders, liquidation at bankruptcy price and or auto deleveraging. Carefully study the liquidation process, but it would be just better to try to avoid it. In most case cases, you are best off keeping the liquidation price far away from your stop loss price. And last, just don't use BitMEX as a get rich quick gamble platform because you will get poor quick instead. Use solid techniques of risk management and proper position sizing and understand that leverage is only a marketing gimmick. Just take responsible and reasonable position sizes. All right, that was it. I hope you found it helpful and you learned something. If you want to see more of our content, please click the subscribe button. Like this video as well, it will be highly appreciated. And we will all see you the next time.